on new at six. This picture, take a look, was taken inside a Georgia prison by alleged gang members. It's coming. It shows 18 year old inmate Cortez Berry there on his knees with a makeshift leash around his neck. As you might imagine, his family is outraged and they're demanding answers. They spoke with CBS 46's Natalie Tejeda about that beating. Natalie. Well, that's right there. Cortez Berry admittedly is no angel, but both his mother and aunt tell me he didn't deserve the beatdown he got inside prison walls, nor did he deserve to have pictures of it posted on social media. I'm told this is all part of a growing trend of using technology as a way of spreading violence in prison. Blood was everywhere. My nephew told me blood was everywhere. Ten people jumped on him and they just kept beating them, beating them, and they choked them to sleep. Pretty much they left them there for dead. But 18-year-old Cortez Berry didn't die. He survived last week's brutal attack at the Burris Correctional Facility, only to discover photos of the beating made it out of the prison and were posted on Facebook for everyone, including his family, to see. I was like, oh, my God. I mean, what happened? How it happened? Sarah Tutonchi of the Southern Center for Human Rights says this violence and the abundance of cell phones behind prison walls is overwhelming here in Georgia. People who are incarcerated have at some point or another had access to a cell phone. There have been hits ordered through illegal cell phones inside the prisons. Although we don't know if that is the case in Barry's situation, the teen says his attack was a result of his denial to join a prison gang. They're not being protected. I don't care what they're there for. He still needs to be protected. And that protection, says Tutonchi, needs to extend beyond the prison walls. When we see things like the photo that is um, that has come out in the last few days, um, what it says to me is that it is time for the Department of Corrections to step up and take measures so that families can't be blackmailed by seeing horrible pictures of their loved ones injured. When I spoke with the Cortez's family this afternoon, they tell me the teen is doing better, but he's still very concerned about his safety. I attended to reach out to the Georgia Department of Corrections several times today, but so far all of my calls have gone unreturned.